So we've created our data model. We got two data sets inside that data model. We've been able to relate them to one another, create that relationship. So Alpkey finds Alpkey's orders and so on. And we've created a pivot table based off that data set with two tables related to one another. And we've created a few little calculations in there. We've counted the order ID. We've, we've averaged the uh, shipping or the freight. We've uh, summed the freight. We've done a couple inside there. It's, it's a pivot table. Now let's take a look at creating a calculation inside of Power Pivot and how we can use that calculation inside of our pivot table as a KPI or a key performance indicator. Let's take a look. So my first step is I need to manage or edit my data model. So I'm gonna go back to my Power Pivot tab. On the far left, I'm gonna go into Manage. All right, inside of the Manage environment, so back to Power Pivot, this did open up that separate window again. I'm gonna to go to my Order Info tab, and here's what I wanna do. I wanna take the freight column Right, we got freight amounts for each of the uh, orders that are being placed here, which are connected to the customers. And I want to get an average for the freight across all the records there. Give me an average freight amount. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to my freight column. I'll just click on the header there. I'm gonna to go to the home tab inside of Power Pivot. And on the right hand side, we've got an option for calculations. Now you'll notice that the auto sum button there is currently active, but right below that we have a create KPI, which is what we're gonna do here in a moment, which is currently not active. Before you can create a key performance indicator or KPI, we have to have a calculation or what you might hear referred to as a measure. We need, in order to create the KPI, we have to have something to measure within that KPI. So here, I'm gonna create the calculation first. I'll go to the little arrow there, and I don't wanna sum, I wanna get an average freight. So I'll go ahead and click on average. So this should create a new row down at the bottom. You may need to expand it, but you can see here that I got average of freight, $78 and 24, roughly 24 cents there. Let's see if it goes, keeps going. Yada, 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 right? So roughly $78 is the average amount for the freight, okay? Now that we've got that, and that, that's great information that we have there now, we've got that calculation or that measure, we can now utilize that calculation right there, that $78 value within our KPI, our key performance indicator. So I'm now gonna go up to my home tab again underneath calculations, and I can now create a KPI. I'll give that a click. This is my key performance indicator. Uh, the KPI base value is based off of that average of freight that we just created. Uh, down below our status, where we get to really set up what we're gonna be measuring. So we got two ways we can do this. We can do it through a measure. We have no target fields to be defined. Okay, that's fine. Uh, or we have an absolute value. So remember ours, our average is $78, right? Now, let's say I do an absolute value. They defaulted it at 100. You can see that the red over here being zero ramps up to 40, then it gets into the yellow. And then before it hits the green, we got 80 plus all the way to the 100. Okay. Uh, now let's say, I want the average to be, well, I have to think about this. I want the average to be lower. We want our shipping costs down. Right, because if our shipping costs are down, we pass that on to our customers. Right, so first thing I wanna do here is I wanna flip that. I wanna flip it. And the green represents the good, the yellow represents the, eh, you're, you're somewhere in the middle, and the red will represent the bad. And, but my lower value in this case, because we want that average to be down, uh, will be, should be in the green. Okay. So right below this, this gradient ramp, this, this KPI ramp here, we've got some options to pick from how you want to view these colors. So rather than going from red, yellow, green, I'm going to go to green, yellow, red. So I'll give that a click and it'll just swap them. Okay? That's it right there. Now for the absolute value, let's say I want this to be, 
uh, our current averages for all of the records is 78. So let's say, and I'm just going to drop a number in there. Let's just cut it in half, the 100. I'm just going to drop it down to 50. And that's just a number that I'm pulling out of my head. I'm just going to throw out there. Let's see what happens here. And we can always go back and make adjustments. Uh, down below, you get your icon sets. How do you want to display this? You know, I actually like these guys right here. I like the X and exclamation mark and the check mark. I just, I like the little visual cues there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. All right, so we've now got our calculation. And we've got that little icon there representing we have a KPI. Now, here's where the beauty comes into play. We've created the calculation. We've got the KPI. Now I want to use that in my report, in my pivot table. So I'm going to go back uh, to Excel. I'm going to close out of this guy here. I'm just going to X out. Now, let me move my head. Get rid of that. Inside of my pivot table, I've now got this average of freight. And it's got the little stop sign there. That's our KPI. If I expand that out, we've got a few options there. We've got the calculation itself. We've got the goal. Our goal was 50. That was that absolute value, right? And then we've got the status. The status represents where we're currently at. But I'm going to make a tweak here. Inside of my pivot table area, I'm going to drag out ship via and I'm going to drag out the count. I'm now going to grab the status and I'm going to drop that into the value section. All right. So looks like 50 was a bit low. Nobody, nobody hit that. Uh, we've got Argentina that got the explanation mark, Italy, Poland, Spain. All of those ones with the explanation mark were in that yellow zone. Right? Everybody that got the X was in the red zone. If I go grab the freight, and I'm going to drop that into the value section as well. Remember, default, it sums it. So I'm going to change that. I'm going to go to sum of freight, value, field settings, and I'll average it. And there's where we're currently at right there. Let's see. So 59, 112, 52, 76, 87, all in the red marks 37 25 Ooh, what was my numbers let's go back in and manage here for a moment i'm going to go back into my kpi i'm going to right click on my calculation here and i'm going to edit kpi settings oh i said 50 so 50 put it right in the middle so anybody at the 20 mark right got into the green so let's let's adjust that a little bit let's say um my absolute value is going to be Oh, actually, let's, let's leave it there at 50. Let's pump this up. I'm just going to drag this guy over. What was the lowest one that you remember inside there? There were some actually high ones in there. Let's, let's keep it at 100 for the absolute value. So 33, 60, ah, let's drop that down. That got adjusted because I brought the absolute value back up. So... Yeah, I want it to be lower. All right. So let's say this guy's going to be down to 40. This guy will be at 80. How's that sound? So we got the absolute value resting at 100. But then we got the 40. Anything 40 and below will be green. Anything between 41 and 79 will be yellow. And 80 plus will be inside the red. All right. I'll close out. And there's my update. So now we got a couple of green ones in there. So being familiar with your data, what we have inside there, what are in this case, what the average freight is going to be, is obviously going to be helpful for us here in determining what the KPI is going to measure against. So I think this is a, a super slick feature just to be able to get those visuals in there. Now, a common question, a common question that I get at this point is this is great. I love this feature but I don't have power pivot. Is there another way for me to do this? Well, yes, yes, there is. Uh, if you've messed around with the conditional formatting inside of Excel, I could create the average freight there. Then I can go to home, conditional formatting, 
and I can use the icon sets. And we've got all these little icon sets here. You can see that looking there on the, the left-hand side, these don't currently match up because my KPI settings, right, that measure that we created had the base value of 100, and then I made some adjustments to the slider there. We had 40 to 80, right? Um, but here it's given us some default values. You can always go in and customize your conditional formatting as well to get it to match whatever conditions, criteria you need. So there are other ways to do this. You don't need power pivot in order to create the icons like a KPI, but you do need power pivot to create the relationship between the two tables. So try this out, get in there, create the measure, create the calculation. We just did an average of freight and then create the KPI and try messing around with the settings, right? I don't know if what I got there is an exact, I probably wanna go in there and make some tweaks to those numbers, but try it out, see what you get.